Welcome to our channel, where we explore pressing issues that shape our world. Today, we delve into the staggering maternal mortality rates among African American women. But amidst the challenges, there is hope on the horizon. We bring you groundbreaking news, a new blood test for preeclampsia that could revolutionize maternal health care. By predicting early signs of this dangerous condition, we can save countless lives. Join us in our mission to raise awareness and drive positive change. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest information. Together, let's stand up against systemic racism and ensure every woman receives the quality health care she deserves. Knowledge is power, and with your support, we can create lasting change. African-American women of childbearing age face a devastating reality. They lead the world in deaths due to complications related to pregnancy or childbirth. This shocking statistic highlights a profound disparity that cannot be ignored. Regardless of education or socioeconomic status, black women in the United States are two to three times more likely to die during pregnancy or childbirth compared to their white counterparts. These alarming numbers not only paint a grim picture of maternal health in the U.S., but also indicate a systemic issue rooted in racism. When we compare the U.S. maternal mortality rate with that of other wealthy countries, the disparity becomes even more evident. The fact that a developed nation like the United States has a higher maternal mortality rate than other countries is deeply concerning. It raises questions about the quality of health care provided to pregnant women, especially African-American women, and the lack of attention given to addressing this urgent issue. One major contributor to the maternal mortality rate among African-American women is pre-eclampsia, a potentially life-threatening condition characterized by high blood pressure and organ damage during pregnancy. Pre-eclampsia affects approximately 1 in 25 pregnancies in the U.S., putting both the mother and baby at risk. Until recently, diagnosing preeclampsia has been a challenge, often leading to delayed intervention and increased complications. However, there is hope on the horizon. As of July 3, 2023, groundbreaking news has emerged in the field of maternal health care. A new blood test for preeclampsia has been developed, capable of predicting early signs of the condition weeks before it manifests. This revolutionary test, known as the placental growth factor, blood test, shows promising results in identifying women at the highest risk of developing severe preeclampsia. Notably, this test represents the first significant advancement in diagnosing preeclampsia since its discovery over a century ago. By enabling early detection and intervention, the placental growth factor blood test has the potential to be a game changer in preeclampsia care. Currently, preeclampsia is typically diagnosed at or after week 20 of pregnancy, leaving little time for proactive measure. However, with the new blood test, healthcare providers can identify women at risk much earlier, allowing for appropriate monitoring and interventions that can significantly reduce complications and mortality rates. The placental growth factor blood test works by measuring the levels of placental growth factor, a protein produced by the placenta. Research has shown that reduced levels of placental growth factor can be an early indicator of pre-eclampsia. By monitoring placental growth factor levels in pregnant women, healthcare providers can identify those who are at a higher risk of developing the severe form of pre-eclampsia and implement necessary interventions to mitigate the risks. In addition to its predictive abilities, the placental growth factor blood test offers other advantages over existing diagnostic methods. It is a non-invasive procedure that involves a simple blood draw, making it more accessible and less burdensome for pregnant women. The test results can be obtained quickly, allowing for prompt decision-making and personalized care plans. Furthermore, the placental growth factor blood test has shown higher sensitivity and specificity compared to traditional methods, reducing the chances of false positives or negatives and providing more accurate diagnoses. The implications of this breakthrough are particularly significant for black communities, where pre-eclampsia rates are alarmingly high. Factors such as racial bias, discrimination and socioeconomic disparities to the increased risk of preeclampsia and the lack of timely diagnosis and intervention among African-American women. 
By implementing the placental growth factor blood test in healthcare settings that serve predominantly black populations, we can address these disparities and ensure that women at high risk receive the necessary care and support. If the placental growth factor blood test is verified and approved for widespread use, it could have a profound impact on maternal health outcomes, especially in African-American community. By identifying those at the highest risk, healthcare providers can prioritize interventions and support tailored to these vulnerable populations, ultimately reducing maternal mortality rates and improving overall outcomes. To ensure the successful implementation of the placental growth factor blood test, it is crucial to address the underlying systemic issues that contribute to the disparities in maternal health. Systemic racism plays a significant role in perpetuating these disparities as it affects access to quality health care, socioeconomic opportunities, and social determinants of health. Efforts must be made to dismantle these systemic barriers and promote equity in health care delivery. Furthermore, community engagement and education are key components in ensuring the widespread adoption of the placental growth factor blood test. It is essential to raise awareness among healthcare providers and the general public about the benefits of early detection and intervention for preeclampsia. Community organizations, advocacy groups, and healthcare professionals should collaborate to develop culturally sensitive outreach programs that empower women with knowledge about pre-eclampsia and encourage them to seek regular prenatal care. In addition to the placental growth factor blood test, it is crucial to address the broader issues surrounding maternal health care. Improving access to quality prenatal care, ensuring health care providers receive cultural competency training, and promoting health equity are all vital components of comprehensive maternal health care reform. Legislation and policy changes are needed to allocate resources and prioritize initiatives aimed at reducing maternal mortality rates, particularly within marginalized communities. Investment in research and innovation is also necessary to continue advancing maternal health care. While the placental growth factor blood test represents a significant breakthrough, further studies are needed to refine its effectiveness evaluate long-term outcomes, and explore additional diagnostic tools and intervention. By fostering a culture of scientific inquiry and collaboration, we can continue to make strides in improving maternal health and reducing disparities. In conclusion, the development of a new blood test for preeclampsia is an exciting and potentially life-saving advancement in maternal health care. This test's ability to predict early signs of the condition and identify women at the highest risk of developing severe preeclampsia is a significant step forward. If approved, it has the potential to revolutionize preeclampsia care, particularly within black communities that bear a disproportionate burden of maternal mortality. However, it is crucial to recognize that addressing maternal health disparities requires a multifaceted approach that encompasses systemic change, community engagement, education, and continued research. Only by tackling these issues comprehensively we can strive towards equitable and safe maternal health care for all women, regardless of their race or socioeconomic status. Thank you for joining us on this important journey to shed light on the maternal health disparities faced by African American women. We hope this video has opened your eyes to the urgent need for change. By subscribing to our channel, you can stay informed about crucial topics like this and join our community of advocates for maternal health care reform. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications and be the first to watch our upcoming videos. Together, we can make a difference and ensure that everyone receives the care and support she deserves. Subscribe now and hit that bell icon to be a part of this transformative movement.